welcome to IndianTelevision.com's News of the Week. Let's take a look at this week's top stories. Sunil Linda's role in making a success story out of Times Television Network has been surely noticed. The former MD and CEO of the network has been now elevated to President of Corporate Development in Bennett Coleman & Co Group, the parent company. In his new role, he will be handling music, sports, new IP, international events and other initiatives. Former Disney UTV MD MK Anand will be taking over as the new MD and CEO of the Times Television Network. The latest development regarding the TV ratings guidelines is that TAM shareholder Kantar Market Research decided to take the government to court. Its contention is that the cabinet approved guideline restricting cross holding will put the existence of its venture TAM in jeopardy. The court has asked Kantar to provide its shareholding pattern details and adjourn the case to 29 January. TRI has given another set of deadlines that it claims will be the last regarding the filling of subscriber details in DAS Phase 2 cities. 23 out of the 38 cities have completed nearly 90% of the work and MSOs in these cities have been asked to cut off signals from 27 January if subscribers don't fill their consumer application forms. The remaining cities have been set different deadlines as well. Post this, the MIB held a meeting with all the stakeholders and gave the green signal to start work on DAS Phase 3 and 4 that will have a common deadline of 31st December 2014. TV18 has completed its acquisition in several ETV channels at a price of 2053 crore rupees. TV18 will now have 100% stake in ETV Uttar Pradesh, ETV Madhya Pradesh, ETV Rajasthan, ETV Bihar, and ETV Urdu, and 50%. Marathi, ETV Kannada, ETV Bangla, ETV Gujarati and ETV Oriya. However, ETV Telugu and ETV Telugu News will see it owning only 24.5% equity. Except for the two Telugu channels, TV18 will have full board and management control over all the other channels. The Network 18 subsidiary will soon be transferring the GC channels to another company in the network. Moving on to the other news that made headlines. Bark signed on Media Metri as its technology partner on 20th January. The move came in after the council updated the ministry on its progress and by when it will be up and running. A week prior to this, the MIB had approved the trial recommended TV rating guidelines which took the industry by surprise. The International Hockey Federation or FIH and Star India which runs India's leading sports network Star Sports announced on 21st January that they have signed an 8 year strategic partnership to improve the production of international hockey broadcast and extend hockey's reach worldwide. The groundbreaking event will run from January 2015 to December 2022. During this period, the FIH will look to host a major event in India each year. Star is investing 1,500 crore rupees during this 8 year tenure to promote hockey in a big way in India. Four national MSOs, DEN, City Cable, In Cable, and Hathaway, have filed separate cases in Delhi High Court with regard to collection of entertainment tax by tax collecting authorities. DEN, In Cable, and Hathaway got an interim order by the High Court restraining the tax authority from taking coercive action. The case has been listed for 13th March. Tata Sky has decided to open up its active service platform for advertisers to air commercials or integrate brands into its shows. Brands such as McCain Foods, Google, Yahoo, Maggie and Britannia are already on board. The Indian popcaster Doodarshan has signed a memorandum of understanding with the Korean International Broadcasting Foundation, Aravan TV which will allow the two stations to share content and also foster cultural ties between Korea and India. That's all for now. For more updates and insights about the media industry, log on to www.indiantelevision.com. Till then, have a great week ahead. Goodbye.